It was an operation that went wrong in almost every way. You see this? We're fixing to get into a pretty good gunfight. Inserted into a mountainous part of eastern Afghanistan that they were entirely unfamiliar with, Navy SEALs Marcus Luttrell, Michael Murphy, Danny Dietz, and Matthew Axelson were supposed to quickly and quietly confirm the presence of a high-ranking Taliban target. Bad guy. Senior Taliban commander. Shaw killed 20 Marines last week. What they got instead was an all-out assault. Go! Battling 50 fighters down a 10,000-foot mountain. You mean fall off? I'm on there would-be rescuers were shot down when a rocket-propelled grenade took out their Chinook helicopter. Lone Survivor is based on the book of the same name by Marcus Luttrell. The film tells his harrowing true story. Marcus and his battle buddies outgunned and fighting for their lives. In all, 19 Navy SEALs and soldiers died in the operation. Luttrell, the lone survivor, was saved by Afghan villagers who risked their lives to save his when he crawled into their community. Marcus, it must have been a difficult decision to let them make a movie. How close is it to what happened? I would say it's as close as you could possibly get without having to have killed some of these guys up on the mountain filming it. The most important thing is whether or not the family members of the fallen appreciated what they saw on the film. What do they think? From my understanding, everything was positive, and that's all you can ask for. One of the big questions that I have as somebody who covers the war in Afghanistan, do the American people want to hear these stories? They're incredibly powerful. This movie is very, very compelling. Do they want, it? Do they want to know about it? Well, they should know about it. They need to know about it, and it's my job to get as many people uh, into the theaters to see it as possible. Uh, I've never felt more strongly about something that I've been a part of. Uh, I've never been more proud to be a part of a project like this. Uh, it's the first time that I've made a movie that was never about me as an actor or my performance. It was always about telling their story. There's some buzz Wahlberg may be up for his third Oscar nomination for this role. Yet more recognition for a wild show business career that launched as a rapper with roles along the way as a boxer. Look at the size of that guy. A thief. It's over when I say it's over. And a porn star. I want you to know I plan on being a star. A big, bright, shining star. You're a devout Catholic. How important does your a role, does your faith play when it comes to picking parts? I try to be as... Uh, as open as possible in the kind of roles that I consider. I don't want to. I don't want to limit myself as an actor. Uh, I do. I have made some roles that I think would be questionable, um, certainly to my parish priest and some other people. But I hope God's a movie fan. Uh, I don't want to explain Boogie Nights at the right time. <laughs> but, um, we're good, right? We're solid. It's clear for Marcus Luttrell the battle that day, almost a decade ago, still cuts close to the bone today. One of the emotions I felt while, while watching the film is, first of all, just the hopelessness of the situation, how horrific it was, and also just all that loss of life uh, of these brave uh, American men. And I was torn about the message of the film uh, in the same way that I think I am about the war in Afghanistan itself. Um, I don't want any more senseless American death, and at the same time, I know that there are bad people there and good people who need help. Was that intentional? Well, I don't know what part of the film you were watching, but uh, hopelessness never really came into it. I mean, I don't, where did you see that? Because I, I, there was never at a point where we were just felt like we were hopelessly lost or anything like that. We never gave up. I never felt like that we, we were losing until we were actually dead. I mean, that, that, that never came across and in the battle and while we were fighting on the mountain and it was just us against them. We got hopelessness, just, just, the, just the sense of all these wonderful people who, who died. It seemed senseless. I don't mean to disrespect in any way, but it seemed senseless, all these wonderful people who were killed for, for an op that went wrong. We spend our whole lives trained to defend this country, and then we were sitting over there by this country, so you're telling me that because we were over there doing what we were told by our country that it was senseless and my dies what they died for nothing no i'm not saying that at all that's what you said so let me just say that yeah it went bad for us over there but that was our job that's what we did we didn't complain about it we went out there and did what we did best and at the end of it we weren't standing they were uh, uh, we were lucky uh, no excuse me, I, I was lucky 
and the rest of the guys, and we, we fought as hard as we possibly could and never felt sorry for ourselves while we were out there. This was the job. We were going after a high-value high, uh, high target, and you know, the, the, it just got switched on us. Maybe it's just the difference between what a civilian feels when he watches this versus what a soldier does. Absolutely. I mean, I, I completely agree. You know, but I don't think his his opinion is never going to change. That's his job. You know, he feels. Oh, like I respect it. Oh, I know. Understand? I understand. I, you know, the more the more time I I spend with Marcus, the more I really start to understand who they are and what they do for us. And uh, it's it's uh, it's pretty amazing.